so I just can't get the lighting right so now here let's talk about this perfume this perfume it gives me the impression of a night garden in the night garden all the flowers are slowly dozing off into a very peaceful slumber and there is this one jasmine one jasmine flower who doesn't want to sleep and this jasmine flower will be singing a very enchanting and thrilling serenade kind of like trying to lure all the insects all the creature in the dark night to come out and come near it but this jasmine right, is not that carnal when the creatures approach or come near this flower this jasmine this jasmine won't bite this jasmine would just let them sniff her and kind of like kind of like you know like 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 trying to attract these other creature to come near just to take a look at it sniff it smell it touch it caress it and slowly go away when another creature shows up so this is really not carnal but it's very seductive very alluring you have to get really close to sniff the scent because for me it's really close to the, to the skin but at the same time it's very dense the jasmine has its green quality but there is also some creamy nuttiness from almond don't mistake me for don't don't make a misjudgment that this will be a gourmand as almond is in a lot of gourmand perfume this is not that gourmand perfume this is not that gourmand almond this is an almond with all of the sweetness taken out and only the creaminess the texture the aftertaste of eating an unsweetened almond would be in here so it's really not that sweet so together with the jasmine it's really floral you have that almond now come back to our story just now the jasmine that blooms at night serenade and try to get every cute creature to come near her have a very short life. This jasmine will slowly wither and slowly dries down. The petal of this jasmine would fall off and it will fall off onto the sand, onto the soil and it will slowly, it will slowly, the jasmine essence from the petal almost seem like it would be absorbed by the bark of this jasmine plant making it making this fragrance very woody it is floral in the beginning in the heart but it slowly dries down mixed together with the powderiness the nuttiness the unsweetened quality of an almond and it would end very woody very woody almost almost like the jasmine petal has been absorbed into this jasmine plant bark or something it's very woody but still retain the quality of a jasmine flower it's nothing very fresh it's not a fresh jasmine it's a very seductive jasmine for that for that quality i always i always come back to this once in a while i always put this one on my arm on my neck I just like to sniff it once here you know once in a while sometimes I barely I could barely smell it but funnily enough my husband smells it when I put this on I thought this one is very close to the skin but somehow he smelt it I don't know how so that's my review of this Bulgari Jasmine Noir if you have tried this before or if you have tried the Splendida do comment down below and let me know the differences between the two and do let me know your thoughts about this fragrance. See you in the next one. Bye.